lot of water coming out of the spillway gates right now, and they're planning on releasing more in the coming days, but they're trying to be cautious not to release too much too soon and compound potential problems downstream. A lot of rain has already fallen in the metro over the past week, leaving a soggy mess in its wake. We should have, uh, you know, areas that normally flood, uh, low-lying areas, the, and areas in the city of Jackson and other urban-type areas around the, the state here will probably could experience some uh, flash flooding. Senior service hydrologist Marty Pope of the National Weather Service says that is in part why there is a threat for flash flooding starting Thursday, not just because of the amount of rain that could fall, but also because of what has already fallen through the area. Well, right now we're so saturated. We've had we've been having uh, rainfall on and off for at least the last uh, least last week. And so that every all the soils throughout the entire area are all saturated. The reservoir spillway gate started churning out 16,000 cubic feet per second of water, the equivalent of a football field every two seconds Wednesday afternoon. It is the result of what has already been a soggy several days upriver from the reservoir and the threat of more rain coming in that portion of the Pearl River that is already swollen because of so much rain. It's not a flood control layer, but we have got a small amount of capacity and we, we do need to use that as we can. Uh, to, to, to mitigate flooding downstream. John Sigmund with the Pearl River Valley Water Supply District says they are increasing the outflow of the spillway gates over the next several days to try and keep the rising waters at bay, but not release too much downstream that could worsen flash flooding if a lot of rain comes in all at once. If you increase the discharge, you may uh, do more damage than good. And then if you don't get the rain and you've, un you've l emptied the lake without doing without it being necessary. So the plan is to do a gradual increase here at the spillway gates and get up to about 21,000 cubic feet per second by Sunday morning. That would probably put the river gauge in Jackson somewhere around 27 feet. That would be minor flood stage by most, most accounts, but of course a lot depends on what comes rain-wise this way in the next couple of days. Live at the reservoir, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.